sunshine. I'm Katie and welcome back to Dark Sunlight. Today I've got my September bullet journal set up for you. We're about to dip into Virgo season, so that's the inspiration for this setup. Virgo's colors are blue and beige, and their flowers are asters, morning glories, and chrysanthemums. So you'll see those repeated throughout the designs. For the quote this month, I asked my Virgo best friend what her favorite quote was, and she gave me this lyric. Whatever you're doing, make it count. For the symbol underneath the quote, I combined the symbol for the element of earth with the Virgo glyph, using my regular black pen and a silver gel pen. On the right hand side of the spread, I mirrored that rectangle shape but filled it with various flowers. Drawing mums takes a really long time, but I find it looks so beautiful once it's done. I think part of the trick to it is making it imperfect. Let some of the petals vary in shape or position. It makes it look a bit more natural than if everything was completely perfect. The flowers really come together when you start adding little detail lines to give them a bit more depth and shape. I did all the coloring very loosely. I flicked the pen quickly to add a swatch of color that didn't perfectly fill in the spaces. It's just a very simple technique to get a slightly more stylized look. On the next spread, I'll set up my monthly calendar and social trackers. Across the top, I used my fave classic sandwich bag technique to get those color splatters. One thing I decided to do throughout all of these spreads was to add a black frame around any space where I added those color splatters. Virgos have quite the reputation for liking things in order, so I thought it would play nicely to that quality to have messy swatches of color framed neatly in black.
the bottom right corner, I just used the remaining space to add more of the flower designs again framed in black. The next spread is going to be my habit and mood trackers. On this one, I framed the whole page with those color splatters and again, framed them in black. The first chart at the top of the page will be my habit tracker, and the one underneath it will be to track my hours of sleep, quality of sleep, and steps in a day. Underneath all of those will be the mood tracker, where each petal on the asters in the center will represent one day and get colored in to represent a mood. The next spread will be my beloved productivity level board. Right off the bat though, while setting this up, I drew my first line wildly crooked and didn't even notice. There it is. Oh, I finally noticed. Draw in the correct line and move on. Then cover your tracks with white gel pen and white out tape. Good enough for rock and roll. The habits and tasks I track here haven't changed much from the last month because I think I'm really figuring out what I like best. Next up is my favorites and memories page. And lastly is the first weekly of the month. I've been using this layout for the last few weeks and I'm enjoying having a small space for notes at the bottom. 
often used for things I need to add to my grocery list. I do want to take a quick second here to thank my newest patrons, LaToya and Teresa. Your support is super appreciated. I hope you love the bonus content and principles. If you'd like to see your name in the credits of every video, come join the team over on Patreon. I'll leave a link in the description below. And that's it. Here's the flip through of how everything turned out. As always, I'll have a full printable version of this setup as well as phone and desktop backgrounds for my patrons. So be sure to check the link in the description if you wanna grab those for yourself. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Until next time.